Pashtun are the largest ethnic group in Afghanistan and the second largest ethnic group in Pakistan. They historically were also referred to as Afghans until the 1970s, after the term's meaning had become a demonym for members of all ethnic groups in Afghanistan. But before I continue the video, there's a small request. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Also, like and share the video, as it motivates me to make videos like this. Thank you. Let's start. Origins of Pashtun and Connection with India Some Pashtun tribes claim to be descendants from Arabs, including some claiming to be Sayyids. Some groups from Peshawar and Kandahar believed to be descended from Greeks who arrived with Alexander the Great. However, only a small proportion of Pashtuns may be the descent from Greeks, but they also suggest that Greek ancestry may also have come from Greek slaves brought by Xerxes I. One historical account connects the Pashtuns to a possible ancient Egyptian past, but this lacks supporting evidence. Historian Henry Walter Bellew viewed that the Pashtuns likely have mixed Greek and Rajput roots. Following Alexander's brief occupation, the successor state of the Seleucid Empire expansion influence on the Pashtuns until 305 BC, when they gave up dominating power to the Indian Mauryan Empire as part of an alliance treaty. Important Pashtun rulers have included the Lodi dynasty, which ruled Afghanistan and northern India during the Delhi Sultanate period from 1206 to 1526. The Lodi dynasty, which was from 1451 up till 1526 C, was the final of the five Delhi Sultanates and was defeated by Babur, who founded the Mughal Empire. It is speculated that Pashtuns are descendants of Eastern Iranians who immigrated to the area from Persia. However, there's also an interesting legend which claims that they actually originate from one of the ancient tribes of Israel. Pashtuns are Sunni Muslims. They're seen as the historic founders of the Afghan kingdom with an apparent predominance in administration power until recently. The social structure of the Pashtuns is based on the Pashtun Wali, which is a mixture of a tribal code of honor and local interpretations of Sharia. This requires the speaking of Pashtu and the adherence to established customs. Hospitality, protection of their guests, defense of property, family honor, and protection of the female relatives are some of the most important principles for Pashtuns. They rely on the tribal council Jirga for the enforcement of disputes and local decision making, as well as the seclusion of women from all affairs outside the home. A major aspect of the Pashtun Wali code emphasizes personal authority and freedom. Women are required to wear full face and full length garments known as the burqa. Pashtun culture is celebrated for its traditional music, dancing, poetry, and storytelling. A majority of Pashtuns rely upon agriculture such as irrigated wheat and animal husbandry for their source of income, with some involved in trading in these and other commodities. Up until the late 19th century CE, outsiders generally just called the Pashtuns Afghans. However, once the nation of Afghanistan took its modern form, that word came to be applied to citizens of that country. Regardless of their ethnic origin, the Pashtuns of Afghanistan and Pakistan had to be distinguished from other people in Afghanistan, such as the ethnic Tajiks, Uzbeks, and Hazara. The Pashtun Today after the partition of India in 1947, some Pashtuns called for the creation of Pashtunistan, carved from the Pashtun-dominated areas of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Although this idea remains alive among hardline Pashtun nationalists, it seems unlikely to come to fruition. Famous Pashtun people in history include the Ghaznavids, the Lodi family, who ruled the fifth iteration of the Delhi Sultanate, former Afghan President Hamid Karzai, in 2014, Nobel Peace Prize Laureate Malala Yousafzai. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.